Joining us from the IWK Health Center, Paul Conrad, Chair of the Board of Trustees. We appreciate having you here today, Paul, and invite you to say a few words. Thank you very much, Kim. As Chair of the IWK Foundation Board, I have the privilege of working with many passionate people in this area. Our purpose is to guide the IWK in the realization of its goals and its mission to inspire and celebrate giving, to support excellence in specialized care for the maritime families. To the riders and the teams here today, welcome to Halifax and congratulations on a remarkable journey. Although I live an active lifestyle, I cannot imagine the tenacity and commitment that you folks have uh, demonstrated here. As a father of three healthy daughters and a husband and a community member, the IWK has had a very big impact on my family. So many people have changed lives, caregivers, researchers, surgeons, nurses, doctors, similarly in other health centers across the country. The IWK is a very special place. It's truly an honor to represent the board and to be here with you today. No matter where I go, I talk to other people, there's always a connection to share about the IWK. In fact, in a few minutes you will hear very special stories about two IWK patients. <laughs> Finally and most importantly, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for your very strong commitment to the Sears National Kids Cancer Ride. You, our donors, our partners, our volunteers, Patient families and friends are the center of everything that we do. Thank you to Sears and the Coast to Coast Against Cancer Foundation for making this an event that will last for a long time. We will always, <clears throat> always like to thank our local writer Suzanne Delaney. It is truly amazing that she has nearly raised $70,000 for the hematology and oncology unit at our IWK Health Center. We cherish your generosity and your connection to the IWK. Because of the Sears National Kids Cancer Ride, we can continue to make incredible differences in our communities for patients and our families. Thank you so much for attending. Billy McNeil and his parents, William and Mary. Billy is 17 years old from Halifax and a student at Citadel High. Earlier this year, he was diagnosed with stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma, And after extensive treatments, stands here with us today with a clean bill of health. Please come up, Billy. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. Hey, I've been uh, cancer-free since this March, actually. Thank you guys for all this money you've uh, made and raised. It's uh, it's quite nice. It's a good thing. Um, pretty much my story is uh, I had a lump under my arm and it was a tumor, and they didn't really figure it out. They always thought it was a cyst, and a couple tries later I got a little penicillin, and that's when they got me an X-ray and I found it was a lot bigger than that. And then they uh, switched me to IWK, which I thought was probably the smartest thing uh, a doctor could have done and it was just quite nice. How did you guys enjoy your bike ride anyways? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to do it next year actually. It's going to be nice. Hope you guys come back next year. Anyways, um, I didn't really have much to say. Just thank you guys so much, and thank you for having me here, talking to you. Does anyone actually have any questions? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. That's, uh, that's different. Alright, well, you guys 
I hope you guys had a, a lot of fun on this. It seems like fun. So, uh, hope you guys had fun. It looks fun. And, uh, I'm not very good at public speaking. <laughs> our second ambassador is an 18 year old, Hannah McKenzie. She and her parents, Stuart and Sandra, are from Halifax. Hannah also attends Citadel High School with Billy was diagnosed in 2007 with leukemia. She was our ambassador last year, and we're so glad she is involved again this year. Anna, would you come on up? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, so I'm Hannah, and sure I was diagnosed with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And I was here last year and I talked to you all about uh, my treatment and I'm also cancer free this past March. <laughs> and my six month trip is next week. So I'm gonna do good on that one. Um, I just wanted to come here and thank you all for uh, the, the money you raised, not only the money you raised, but just the positivity that you put all across Canada for kids cancer and just coming here today you're all smiling and you're all so happy and what you've done and I'm really proud of all you guys especially proud of one volunteer back his name is Matthew Patrickin he's friends with my older brother and I've met him a few times in Victoria but he's, he's a really great guy and next year hopefully along with Billy. I want to ride with him from Vancouver to Halifax all the way. And, uh, I just wanted to thank all you guys for everything you do for it. It's, you know, it's more than a bike ride. You give all these kids hope that, you know, one day they'll they'll be able to go out and not have to go home for a chemo session and you know, it, everything you do, every little mile, every little kilometer, it all helps and it makes them all feel better. And uh, because of you, a lot of kids up on that sixth floor at the IWK won't have to worry anymore. And they can go off and they can go to university. And it's all because of you guys, so I want to thank you. Looks like you're both going to be taking the uh, bike ride across Canada next year. <laughs> Thanks to both of our ambassadors for joining us today and sharing a little piece of your story. You're truly an inspiration to myself and all of us here at Sears National Kids Cancer Riders. I would like to introduce Jocelyn Vine, the Vice President of Patient, patient Care at the IWK Center. Working with a health care center, Ms. Vine sees on a daily basis the effects that cancer can have on the kids that suffer and their families. She also knows the positive outcomes and the frontline battles that can be achieved through the fundraising like this. Come on up. Matt, so I had to go for the stairs, but I just wanted to thank everybody so very much on behalf of patients, families, and friends, and our organization, the IWK Health Center, for the amazing fundraising that you've done on behalf of our patients. And as mentioned, the positive outcomes, and we see those brought uh, with Billy and Anna coming and telling us their stories. So I w just wanted to mention a few specifics about how the $50,000 that you gave to us, thank you very much, has been used. And uh, what we've used it for is some really high-tech video conferencing uh, equipment that allows us to link in with all of the, t the world-leading cancer centers so that the care that we provide here is as good as anywhere else in the world. So those networks are incredibly important to us and as you can see the results really, really pay off. It also allows us to connect with uh, physicians and families in the community so that kids don't have to stay in Halifax for very prolonged periods of time so we can plan their care with local care providers as well. And in addition, some of the uh, money was used toward education, which again, as you can imagine, keeping our teams at the very top of the education practice is critical to doing the best, best work that we can on behalf of cancer and kids. 
So thank you so very much for your generosity, your courage, your tenacity, your energy. I can't even imagine the muscle power it takes. Um, so we really, really appreciate your hard work on our behalf.